Hello everyone, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I like to show you how to make shutter glitching vocal effect. I'm hearing this effect on Skrillex, Fred again, it's very popular recently. And also in the channel, I got several requests how to make this kind of shuttery vocals. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make it in FL Studio. And if you're ready, let's get into the tutorial. Okay guys, first, I'd like to show you the demo trick that I'm gonna work on. So first of all, we will do something like this. Obviously, we gotta find a vocal. So I find this vocal on Splice. Crying until 6 a.m. cause nobody cares. So it's something like that. And I like to first, I like to put this vocal to the key of my track. So my track is on A sharp. If I put it 200 down, it can be B flat or A sharp, it's the same. So it's gonna fit to my scale. Trying to look pretty but inside I'm a mess. Oh. We will get back to vocals later. So I'm just rooting it to here, it's on channel. And the next thing, I'm gonna create a trigger channel, trigger pattern here. And we will put a three times oscillator. And I'm gonna go to the noise with choosing the dice in here. And let's go to the envelope settings. And let's make it very small, very short, like just like a click. We can tweak it later, let's leave it like that. And let's root it to its own mixer channel. And now we will do something like that. First, we gotta create a cool rhythmic pattern that fits to the track. And we can do that by just listening to the track. Uh, the key doesn't matter in the noise, it's all same. And maybe we can duplicate once more. So it's up to you. You can make it more complex or more simple. But for this tutorial, I think that's enough. And I'm gonna do something like that. Actually, let's click Alt Q. And we can just choose the swing templates in here and just make it a little bit swingy. <laughs> it gives the groove to the track and now let's go to the mixer and i'm gonna add a fruity peak controller because we will give the trigger uh, midi trigger information to the vocal with this plugin so we will do like that you can tweak the tension and volume until the midi trigger just hits to the top <laughs> So something like that would work. And after that, we will just remove the connection, the trigger channel to the master. So we won't hear it, but we will still have the MIDI information. And the next thing, we will go to the vocals and add a fruity balance in here. And now right click the volume, link to controller and choose peak. And when you do that, now we are controlling volume knob of the Fruity Balance with the Fruity Peak controller. Now we will got a very cool effect already. Now it's time to give it more time and create a very cool pattern with the vocals. Uh, maybe first I can fit this vocal to my tempo and I'm gonna choose Stretch Pro. I think it's best for the vocals and I'm gonna kind of chop. Let's do it randomly and hope for the best. So I'm kind of getting the long phrases and also I'm searching for some phrases that have the lyrics and trying to create a pattern that fits to the track. I'm just doing it kind of randomly, but you get the point. Yeah, maybe this one can come here. I'm gonna get it like that. 
So even you don't need to fit it to tempo, but it kind of helps. Okay, let's find some maybe cool phrase from here. Yeah, this is cool. Maybe even I can use it in here. As you see, like, it's all about spending more time and finding the best possible variations. This one, it also has a different note. That's why I like to use it in here. So we can loop this one maybe once. And maybe we can change the ending this time. Let's loop it once. And let's test it with the track. So this one I think not fitting perfectly. Let's uh, let's replace it with something else. Even maybe we can just use the one that we just started. I like this one. I don't like this ending though. Let's change it. And also, if we go to the three times oscillators envelope settings, we can control the gate. You know what? Like release, decay, whatever you like. You can shape the gate effect with these parameters. Maybe we can give a little bit of attack. And also you don't need to rely on the notes in the vocal. You can always consolidate the vocal by let's deactivate fruity balance for now. And you can do something like that. For example, if you don't like this uh, note, you can make it unique. Let's check the key of that. So it's F sharp. So in the chords, we have maybe C sharp in here. Why not we put it to the C sharp? And with this, you can create your own melodies with your own notes. Let's root it back to the vocal channel and activate the fruity balance. And also don't forget to root this one as well. Yeah, this one, let's copy the one that we replaced. And in here, I like to change the last one as well. Let's make it unique. And in here, let's see our bass is goes to D sharp. Let's make it D sharp. Okay, now we can kind of test it with the track. And also, if you like to edit more ear candy, you can again, let's consolidate this one once. Let's route it to back to the vocal channel. And now if you like, you can put it to Stretch Pro and automate the formant as you like. If you automate the formant, you will get very cool ear candy. Let's say you want to do it in here, just in the end.
And after that, it's all about processing how you process your synths, your vocals. Let's give it some reverb, delay, chorus, whatever we have. Let's smash them all. <laughs> And I'm gonna put some OTT to glue the whole chain. And after that, let's get a pretty limiter. We will use this to sidechain the vocal. If you have the four on the floor kick, you can, you know, go maybe LFO tool, any other kickstart, whatever you want to use. But since my kick doesn't follow the four on the floor pattern, so I like to side chain my vocal with the fruity limiter. So all I need to do is root the kick to here, like that. And let's go to compressor, right click side chain, choose the kick. And now I'm going to make my ratio four or five, something like that. And it's all about now putting the threshold to some cool level that you like. <laughs> Yeah guys, today I show you how to achieve this shuttery glitchy vocal leads in FL Studio only using stock plugins and also OTT, yeah, for sure. I hope you can apply this trick to your own productions as well. See you on the next video. Bye bye.